Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's our pod, King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. It's game two, man. We in the conference finals against the Bulls. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's our pod, King Carter versus D. Rules. It's the Bulls versus the Sixers. The Bulls is at home right now. But I think we could take them, man. Um, Basically, we got to stop Derrick Rose. That's the first thing. <laughs> that man is amazing. I'm not even going to lie. This dude has no bump animations against him. He makes every layup. But I'm going to try my best, man. I'm going to see what I can do. Let's get into this. for joining us for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Well, it was a great Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, Game 2, just about ready to tip off. All right, we ready to tip off. D. Rose is out here giving dap to everybody, you know, showing love to the Sixers. I don't know what's up with the point guards giving each other two fingers, but, you know, I ain't going to get into that. <laughs> now, uh, starting off this series, I did pretty good in Game 1. Um, these are my averages. I know they're not realistic um, or a simulation type. All I can tell you is, man, I got to win on Hall of Fame. Now, in the first possession, you know, it was it was getting bad. You know, um, I got fouled a few times. You know, only made one free throw. So my free throw percentage is only at 50. Luau Dang just got like two rebounds in a, in a layup off of me not being able to grab rebounds. So that's one thing that I'm going to start working on with my mob player. Even though he's a point guard, I think I need to work on rebounds, man. And, you know, it's just that simple. So also another thing is D. Rose, he wasn't really showing me his range in the first quarter. But he was driving on me with no regard for human life. Now check out Kevin Martin as he gets the alley-oop. I usually don't throw alley-oops to Kevin Martin because he can't really catch him that well but that time he showed me something different now back to d rose this dude does not get bump animations the only time d rose gets bumped is on a layup and he makes it maybe 90 percent of the time like i don't know what it is about d rose like i don't know if it's his agility his speed but i want to learn all his tricks cash by the way but I really want to learn this dude tricks. I'm, what I'm going to do is after this game, I'm going to go to the rosters, look at all of his attributes, his abilities. And I'm going to try to make a mirror image of D. Rose just because of the simple fact that I promise you, whenever D. Rose crosses over, goes behind the back, drives to the lane, he never gets bumped. I get bumped every single play and D. Rose doesn't. So I want to know his secret. But as you can see here, I'm running my favorite play, PHI Alley. It's a nice little backdoor cut play for the, each player that I have. You know, um, right now I use a small forward, Williams, and he he uses that play to perfection. Now, right there you can see Williams pulling out some nice defense. You already know what's about to happen. Dom City, we in Chicago. I'm throwing alley-oops. You already know what it is, man. Now, a lot of people have been telling me, iPod, I, we know that you can score, but what I want you to do is to break the assist record. And I was thinking about breaking it this game, but I might try it next game. This game, it was more of just trying to get to the rim, trying to create fouls. Because if I don't drive into the lane or passes the people that's cutting, most of the time no fouls get called. And we end up having the most team fouls. Now, one little situation I want to tell you guys about after this free throw. I, I made it, but um, for some reason I can't find Yee on our roster. Um, the thing is, I looked, oh, that was a horrible pass by, uh, Boinkins, by the way. I'm not, I'm going to get bad, <laughs> bad, uh, transition defense, but it's all good, man. D. Rose, he deserved to get that straightaway dunk. I'm not getting no clear path foul. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, for some reason, I can't find ye. I looked in injuries. Um, I looked at my roster. He's not on there. Now, we're in the playoffs. I don't think that they sent Yi to the D League. And in the first game of the playoffs, I didn't see Yi get injured. So hopefully, you know, Yi comes back for game three. Because right now we have Yerbeko, we have, I think, Williams, we have Landry Fields, and I think Nocioni. That's really our only power forward presence. But check out that alley oop from me to uh, Paul George. You already know what it is, man. Dom City never stops. You know, whenever we out on the break and I see somebody cut to the basket, I got to throw it up. I really don't care too much about turnovers. 2K12 was not designed for us to say, hey, um, you, you're not going to get a lot of turnovers. But check me out on the two-hand fly. Man, 
when with these new you know size up moves and dribble moves i really get past people off these picks a whole lot you know smoother cleaner it's just it's just that nice but check out d rose what i tell you about the bump animation he makes it 90 percent of the time but it's all good, man. I'm sitting on the bench. I only got two turnovers with seven assists. That's pretty good. You know, usually right now I have seven and four, you know, due to stupid animations, non-kickball violations and stuff like that. But it was a great first half. Let's get into the halftime show, y'all. Conference finals keep on rolling. Now for a halftime breakdown presented by HP. At the midway point, the Bulls are playing very well. A win today would even things up in this series. We've watched Carlos Boozer do pretty much whatever he wants against the 76ers. He's got 13 points, and in addition to that, he's been a factor on the glass as well. A couple of helpers, too. And no quit in the 76ers. They came to win. They're putting on a clinic offensively, and they're really starting to click. The first half, a productive one for Terrence Williams. He's got six points and digging in on defense as well, putting in good work on both ends of the floor. A look now at the two guys who put up some good numbers so far in tonight's outing. That's all for us here in the studio. Let's get back out to Kevin and the crew. Thanks so much for joining me. All right, we starting out the third quarter like this, man. This is what I'm into, man. I'm into, you know, just letting the ball roll. I like that animation, man. Um, a lot of people can't use it in the end of game situations because games are usually so close. But check out your Beko going in for the layup against all the trees out there. You know, we want to cut them down as much as we can. Um, they want me to get a quadruple single. I'm a point guard, so it's going to take me a long time to get a rebound. As you saw right there, I was trying to get my first one, but it ain't work. Um, sometimes I kind of get mad at this game, and I do things like this. <laughs> <laughs> I come down with a nice little, I call it the LeBron dribble. It's not really the LeBron dribble. It's just me, you know, switching hands at a fast pace. And that's the animation that they give you. But with that animation, you really can get to the room with ease. But check out Dang. God damn, Dang. Like, he didn't even pump fake. He just said, you know what, Kmart ain't my size. I'm going in for this dunk. But check me out with a nice little size up move. Noah almost broke his ankles trying to go after me. But uh, Booker goes in for the nice dunk. He's going to the line. You know, it is what it is. He he did, Um, I think he missed this one. He kind of made me mad. But let me see. Hold up. Mm, yep, he missed it. I knew, I knew I was mad at something around this time in the third quarter because this is what happened. <laughs> Brewer just came down and just dunked on Gordon like he wasn't even there. That looked like that uh, Vince Carter dunk animation on a seven footer. Pissed me off. But it was all good because I came down, got the steal, and I got this ferocious elevator effect dunk. Now, they don't give me too many replays, so you know I gotta make my own. It's all good. But uh, yeah, guys, a lot of people um, also been asking me, yo, iPod, how do you get good post moves? Um, let me tell you a little secret. When you're in a post, you only need to worry about a few things. Your shot low posts, all of your fade away and post move abil abilities, also the strength that you have in backing down a person. Now, I can do up and unders all game and foul people out all game, but the trick is to fake that person out because when you're in a post, a lot of people come over to help on defense. Now, you have maybe two to three choices when you're in a post. You can kick it out to a guy for three or a mid-range jump shot. You can abuse the person in the post with a nice up and under, a nice little fade away, a couple shimmy moves. Or you can do things like, say, go in the post, back out, hit him with a hesitation move. Like, you know, like like face up. Capitalist there, Clark, yeah. you're right. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite plays. It's time for the fourth quarter and time to check in with the fourth member of our team, Doris Burke, for our Sprite Spark Report. Hi, Doris. Well, Kevin, our spark of the game in this one, the stretch by the 76ers. In that last quarter, things started falling their way, and they clearly have momentum on their side as we head down the stretch in this one. We'll see if they can maintain that same kind of intensity they just showed us in the third period, guys. All right, we in the fourth quarter. I'm sorry, man. You know, the commentators cut me off while I was talking to y'all about the post. But uh, let's talk about alley-oops, man. Now, check out this alley-oop right here. I did not receive the assist because, as you can see, Kyle Korver hit it. Now, let me tell you guys a little bit about that. When you're throwing alley-oops, you just have to pray that your teammate goes to go get it. It's just that simple, man, because at any given time, the computer 
has a Superman glitch effect like in Madden. I know you guys know about that, man. When a linebacker glides across the screen to take a, a cross route and you just can't do nothing about it. You know, that person intercepts the ball and it's just that easy. Now, with me personally, what I like to do is I like to stop before I throw an alley-oop because sometimes if I keep moving, it's like the defender picks up my scent like a wolf. <laughs> you feel me? And they just take the ball out of midair every single time. But as you can see right now, my team is fighting back. As you can see right there, I was kind of cheating. Um, I knew that the play was going into the post, so I, I just went and took it, you know. Came in with a nice floater. I got my floater up as well, so, you know, I'm, I'm making a couple of those. Now, check me out, cheating again. You know, I knew that the play was going to go in the post because the mismatch was there. So, you see me going in for the layup. No foul. It's all good. Now, we're up a good amount right now now as you saw I tried to cheat right there while he was on Paul George but check out Brewer man going in for the dunk on what two people yeah that, I was in the play I, I tried man <laughs> but look at me I, I literally pushed him away like oh please don't dunk on me but check me out in the post you already see what it is man giving D Rose a couple moves real quick so I can get him into the post because if you try to force your way in you will definitely get bumped and the turnover will happen so you really need to use your dribble moves to get into the paint. Now this is right here is one of my favorite plays of the game because I really try to go at D-Rose on my own. Now if you see me going with the jump shot, you would think, yo, is this guy playing on pro because D-Rose really didn't jump? For some reason, when you could do those series of moves like this, they don't have any defense for you. Look at me go right past D-Rose. If Noah wasn't there, it would have been an easy layup and we would have been going the other way. But the foul came. Now, D. Rose, he was mad. He was pissed. So, he was feeling like IKC out there coming down in less than seven seconds getting a bucket. But this is where it counts. This is when the game is on the line. It's four seconds left. We are not trying to lose this game. I know for a fact if they inbounded the Pargo and he shoots a three, they might be within one. So, you know what I do. I'm cheesing. I'm cheating. And you already know what it is, man. I'm giving a nice... I think that was a Euro step dunk. I'm not sure, but it looked like a Euro step dunk. But I got the dunk. We're up big. It's only .3 seconds left. So, you know what that means, man. We won the game. They can't stop us. That's two wins in Chicago. It looks like we're going back to Dime City with a chip on our shoulders. So, the 76ers win it. They came, they saw, they conquered. Hey, Kevin, to me, any win is a good win. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, and the whole crew from 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long, and thanks for watching the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. Now let's take a look at the Jordan player of the game. Dom City Music. Dom City Music. Dom City Music. Dom City Music. Dom City, Dom Dom City, Dom City, Dom Dom City, Dom City, Dom Dom City, Dom City, Dom Dom City. City feels, Dom City feels, Dom Dom City feels, Dom City feels, Dom Dom City feels. Let's go, let's go. They can't stop Dom City. <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> they can't stop Dom City. Another big win for the team tonight. How does it feel to have taken the first two games on the road knowing that you're heading back home now with the possibility of closing out the series? Man, I was real proud of the team tonight. If you want to compete for a championship, you have to win big games on the road. And we did that here to start the series. It's far from over, but knowing that we're going home with a chance to play in front of our fans and try to win a couple more games is huge, man. You always want momentum on your side in the playoffs, and we've definitely got that now.